Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys all of the unmarked or secret locations on the new Russia map. Now this map, as I'm sure all of you guys know, is huge, and there are bound to be lots of cool places and secrets in locations that are not marked by a name when you view the map, so in this video we're not gonna be paying attention to the locations with names on them, but rather every other location that can be found other than the named ones. There are quite a few, and a a lot of them contain some seriously good loot and vehicles inside. Also, and I'm sure this is probably expected, there are spoilers ahead, so if you want to explore the Russian map yourself without any assistance, you might want to click off now. With that out of the way, let's begin. To start, we're going to be zooming in on the largest and possibly most known unmarked location, the giant oil rig that can be seen from basically every beach along the southern coastline. Now while the oil rig is probably pretty commonly known by Russia map explorers now, it hasn't been explored much on vanilla servers without cheats because it's not only a dead zone, but it can only be accessed by an air vehicle. There aren't any ladders or locations to build up a ladder up from the water's surface, so you have to be airdropped in from the sky or land on one of the helipads. Once you arrive, you do have access to three floors that are filled with some extremely good loot. Like, really, really good stuff. Almost everything you find in this location is of epic or legendary quality, aside from ranger magazines, which are rare quality. Uh, it's understandable too. I mean, in order to get access to this location, you need some seriously good equipment. And if you feel like you're equipped enough to head inside, uh, I was able to loot the place with only one filter, but you have to move quickly. Use the metal catwalks on the sides to get from floor to floor, and check all the buildings and crates as they spawn military grade stuff too. Here is a screenshot of the gear I got from one scavenging sweep, so very, very cool. So be sure to consider going here. Now if you're feeling daring enough, or perhaps you just have extra filters, consider stopping by the submarine on your way out. Or maybe, well actually maybe that's not the best idea since you won't have a way to get back up to your helicopter, but just remember that there is more loot lying underneath the water surface too. Directly underneath the oil derrick hides the awesome wrecked stealth submarine we saw in the teaser video. This place is still a dead zone, so remember to move quickly, but inside you can find the same kind of stuff as the oil derrick above, though with less loot spawns and no zombies to worry about. Uh, this submarine is still very deep underwater, so you're gonna need a diving tank and a snorkel to loot this place efficiently. Uh, luckily, you can wear a snorkel and a biohazard suit or a gas mask at the same time. Now, to be honest, I don't really think this place is worth visiting. There are only two rooms to the left and right once you enter, and I've only gone there twice only to find a bulldog. That's it. I sort of wish there were more spawns scattered around the wreckage outside of it, but I suppose that's what you get when you don't have to deal with zombies that are up on the oil rig. So, if you're gonna play on a trip to the oil rig, just stick with looting the oil rig itself. Staying in the water but moving a bit more east along the coastline and you'll find the bow of a pirate ship underwater. Uh, nothing spawns here, but uh, it's, it's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> Uh, there's also one of these in front of the uh, Pirate Cove in PI, so it might be a reference to that. Uh, that's really about it, just a, just an underwater little wrecked pirate ship. But if you surface from the water where the wrecked pirate ship is, you'll see some rocks that the ship seemingly crashed into, and then if you look a bit further ashore, you'll see the lighthouse that people built to prevent people from actually hitting those rocks. Inside that uh, lighthouse, you'll find some civilian spawns, and then you can also find some various food items down at the beach. Now if you head northeast of here, across the river, and on the edge of the autumn biome, you'll be greeted by a neat little roadside and family-owned scrapyard. It's kind of cute. Uh, it's relatively basic with just a mechanic shop and a small home, and then of course the yard of piled cars, but uh, you can find some good stuff here. I mean, if you're looking for some steely wheelies, gas, blowtorches, carjacks, and just don't want to worry about getting shot, uh, this place is pretty quiet and has what you need. And there's also a gas tank here, so keep that in mind. Head west of here across the rivers and keep an eye out for a radio tower peeking out from above the trees on one of the islands. This radio tower has an attached building. It's very basic, but it's worth mentioning that a few mechanic item spawns are here. Now alongside the autumn biome comes a lot of dead and dry plants, and alongside a lot of dead and dry plants comes fire hazards. Because of this, a lot of fire watch towers are scattered evenly about the autumn area of the map, uh, five to be specific. Here are their locations marked on the map, and each one has some nice firefighter related loot inside. 
swapping way over to the most western part of the Russia map and you'll be greeted by a police checkpoint that has taken over the tunnel leading out of the map. With it being a police checkpoint and all, it might not be a surprise that it spawns police loot, uh, but it also has a medical tent nearby that spawns uh, medical supplies. Now this is another well-known location simply because of how cool it is, but if you head into St. Petersburg and go to the block with the diner and the grocery store and stuff, you will find a subway entrance. If you head down there with a flashlight and a new pair of pants, you'll be greeted by some tents that spawn military loot. Uh, there isn't much else in these tunnels, but you can explore it if you'd like. Take a left when coming out of the Sharayevo International Airport, follow the road a bit, take a left at the T intersection, and you'll be greeted by another police checkpoint. This one doesn't have a medical tent, but it does still spawn police loot. Follow the train tracks that run through Zavad westward until you reach the end of the map, and you'll find that it leads into a cool mountainous area, and eventually into a tunnel where this really cool looking war battle train thing sits. No, you cannot drive it, by the way, but here spawns some really, really good military loot, and I've been lucky with finding guns here, so be sure to check it out. Not very many people visit this location often too, since it's unmarked, so be sure to take advantage of that. Approach the location stealthily too, because mega zombies can spawn at the very end of the tunnel. Now this is a cool little easter egg thing or something, I'm not quite sure of its purpose, but it does appear to be some sort of sniper's nest or something. I mean it's got this flat surface to lay your gun on, a long rifle case, and then a radio to communicate or just listen to music. Uh, it's just a cool little easter egg thing, no items spawn here, but it's pretty cool. You can find this north of the military base. In the northeasternmost corner of the map, where the road leads outside the map through a tunnel, you'll find a military checkpoint that surrounds the collapsed tunnel leading out of the map. This place has some really good loot. Military, of course, so you can find guns here and we'll find them often, but it can also spawn military vehicles too, so this place is definitely worth visiting. Now those were all of the unmarked locations that were outside of this giant dead and highly infected area of the map that is a dead zone. Inside this area are two areas worth mentioning. This first location is a little ways east of Silo 22 and can be found near the road in like a cave-ish area, kind of semi-underground. Uh, this is what appears to be some sort of bunker bandit base thing, similar to Heritage Valley in Washington and Holman Isle in PEI. Uh, this place has several floors and spawns a ton of military and ranger loot. Uh, the zombies are also only civilian zombies here, which leads me to the whole bandit idea thing for the base, uh, and it also means that they will take less shots to kill compared to military ones, they don't have any armor. Uh, they are still dead zone zombies though, so be careful of their green goo explosions when you kill them. Same as the oil derrick, it will only take about one filter to loot this place if you move quickly, and that also is not including the time it takes to get there in the first place, so bring two to three filters just to be safe. And lastly, the last unmarked location here on the Russia map, you knew it was coming, it's been in every single vanilla map that has ever been added in Unturned, it's the washing machine crater. <laughs> now, this doesn't appear to spawn any loot or anything as expected, it's just another easter egg thing, but it's pretty cool that we can see it here on the Russia map too. Now one thing you'll notice here that is pretty interesting is that the washing machine is conveniently located right smack dab in the center of the entire dead zone area, just perfectly right there. I mean, come on. Are the washing machines behind the zombie apocalypse? The world may never know. <laughs> well, I started this whole idea of the washing machine starting the apocalypse thing as a joke, but there have been a washing machine in every single vanilla map thus far. They all appear to have fallen from a great height, you know, like from outer space. And in Russia, this thing fell right at the epicenter of this infection. I mean, look at this. Right in the center of the dead zone. For real, though, I mean, are there washing machines behind the zombie apocalypse? I'll be watching you, washing machine, that's for sure. Well, anyway, man, this video did end up taking quite a while, but I said it earlier, man, Russia is a huge map. I have been having a blast playing on Russia, by the way. It is just what Unturn has needed. It's a perfect amount of PvP combat when you want it, and it's easy to find a hidden place to build a home and stay alive for anything more than 15 minutes. Uh, that should pretty much wrap up everything regarding these unmarked or secret locations on the Russia map. There still might be a few small Easter eggs that are scattered around, and if you find any, please comment down below your findings. I'd also like to give a massive thank you to the Reddit user Crodeon Gaming for assisting heavily in finding all these locations. Be sure to check out his YouTube channel too. It's linked in the description down below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that your work because you are great friends.
is out. <laughs>